what really happened to Lee Grant Starr in Alice. Linda Lavin was born on October 15, 1937, in Portland, Maine, the daughter of David Joseph Lavin, a businessman, and Lucille, an opera singer. The Lavin family were active members of the local area Jewish community. Both sets of grandparents, Simon and Jesse Lavin and Harry and Esther Potter, emigrated from Russia. Her family was musically talented, and Lavin has been on stage since the age of five. She studied acting at HB Studio in New York City. She attended Waynefleet School before enrolling in the College of William and Mary. In the summer of 1958, she played one of the leads in The Common Glory, an outdoor drama written by Pulitzer Prize-winning playwright Paul Green and staged at an amphitheater on campus. Upon her graduation from William and Mary, she had already received her Actors Equity Association card. Lavin has been married three times. Her first marriage to Ron Liebman ended in divorce in 1981. Her second marriage to Kip Niven, whom she met on the set of Alice, ended in a bitter divorce in 1992. While Lavin has no biological children, she is the stepmother of the children of her second husband and plays an active role in their lives and she is also the stepmother of the children of her third and current husband, artist-musician Steve Bakunas, whom she married in 2005. The couple had resided in Wilmington, North Carolina where they were committed community members who were working together to rehabilitate impoverished neighborhoods including renovating many homes, donating a park to the city, and creating a community theater, the Red Barn Studio. Along with those crumbles, her career helped reassure this kind girl's spirit. In 1967, Lavin made an appearance as Gloria Thorpe in a television version of the baseball musical Damn Yankees with Phil Silvers. After various guest appearances on episodic television series such as The Nurses, Rhoda, Harry O, and Kaz, Lavin landed a recurring role as Detective Janice Wentworth on Barney Miller during the first and second seasons. She left Barney Miller to star in the lead role in Alice. The show was a popular hit for CBS and ran from 1976 to 1985. Lavin portrayed Alice Hyatt, a waitress, and singer, the character that Burstyn had played. Lavin performed the series' theme song, There's a New Girl in Town, which was written by David Shire and Alan and Marilyn Bergman and was updated for each of the first six seasons. During the series' nine-season run, Lavin earned two Golden Globe Awards and a Primetime Emmy Award nomination and gained experience directing, especially during the later seasons. Lavin also played a dual role in Alice, as Debbie Walden, the wizened and former landlady of the character Vera Louise Gorman Novak. Lavin also made numerous television appearances outside of Alice, including hosting her own holiday special for CBS, Linda in Wonderland. She acted in two sitcoms, Room for Two and 1998's Conrad Bloom. After working in theater for many years, Lavin was cast in the NBC television sitcom Sean Saves the World playing Sean Hayes Pushy, meddling Mother Lorna. The Los Angeles Times interviewer noted, a highlight of the show is the wonderful chemistry between Lavin and Hayes, who exchange repartee and quips with breezy ease. And the cast seems smitten with her. She made numerous television guest appearances, including roles on The Muppet Show, Law and Order, Criminal Intent, The O.C., Touched by an Angel, and HBO's The Sopranos. She also appeared in many telefilms between 1967 and 1998, including Damn Yankees, Sadbird, The Morning After, Jerry, Like Mom, Like Me. Lavin began theater her career with Broadway appearances in the musical A Family Affair and plays such as The Riot Act and Carl Reiner's Something Different. She arrived at showbiz stardom with a featured role in the musical It's a Bird, It's a Plane, It's Superman. She received her first Tony Award nomination in 1970, for her role in the Neil Simon play Last of the Red Hot Lovers. In her early years, 
Lavin also appeared in numerous off-Broadway productions, including the review Wet Paint, the musical The Mad Show, and Little Murders. Lavin won the Theatre World Award for Wet Paint and a Drama Desk Award for Little Murders. In 1975, she appeared in the Shakespeare in the Park production of the Comedy of Errors at the De La Corte Theatre. In 1984, Lavin played the character of the mother in Luigi Pirandello's Six Characters in Search of an Author in a production directed by Robert Brustein at the American Repertory Theatre in Cambridge, Massachusetts. After more than a decade away, appearing on television, Lavin returned to the Broadway stage in 1987, winning a Tony Award for Best Actress in a Play and her second Drama Desk Award for her role as Kate in Simon's play Broadway Bound. In July 1990 she then starred on Broadway in Gypsy as Mama Rose Hovick, replacing Tyne Daly. Subsequent Broadway roles included the sisters Rosenzweig, as a replacement gorgeous Teitelbaum starting in September 1993 and Mrs. Van Don in The Diary of Anne Frank, opposite Natalie Portman, for which she garnered a Tony nomination as featured actress in a play. In 1995 she appeared in the off-Broadway Death Defying Acts, which consists of three one-act plays, Lavin performed in the Elaine May and Woody Allen plays. She was nominated for a Drama Desk Award and won an Obie Award and the Lucille Lortel Award. Next played Marjorie in The Tale of the Allergist's Wife, co-starring Tony Roberts and Michelle Lee, for which she was nominated for a Tony Award, leading actress in a play, and Drama Desk Award, and Nanny for Helen in Hollywood Arms in Chicago and on Broadway in 2002. Lavin appeared in the new Nikki Silver play Too Much Sun, which opened off-Broadway at the Vineyard Theatre on May 18, 2014. In 2015, Lavin Guest starred as a judge approached to stop an execution in the episode of Bones titled The Verdict in the Victims. Emily Deschanel said Lavin was particularly fun to have on the show. Lavin played Judy Roberts in the CBS sitcom 9JKL alongside Mark Feuerstein and Elliot Gould. Lavin caught up with Portland Magazine in its Winter Guide 2018 issue about her return to CBS stating. In 2019, Lavin joined the cast of the Netflix comedy, Horror Santa Clarita Diet, starring Drew Barrymore and Timothy Oliphant. Lavin currently appears in the CBS comedy, Be Positive, which premiered on November 5, 2020, in a recurring role as Norma, one of the senior citizens at a local retirement home. That is the story of her, in the present time Linda Lavinch Endless Inspiration.